Oh yeah. It's you're happening. damn you're damn right I'm I'm packing one right now. It's uh yeah. How you doing? Uh, is Sawyer nearby? I, I need the protection that only Sawyer can provide. I mean, there's there's no other way to say that. So uh, make sure that we do that. So uh, what video do you have for Joy? Joy had to run to the bathroom. Yeah, so we have a video. We've been wanting to do this for a while. And Joy, oh, wow. hopefully he's not peeing and leaving. But we want <laughs> Joy to go over some of the most iconic plays. Do you think he's pulling a LeBron? If he pulls a he LeBron, he's going to get one of these. LeBron right now. Do you want to be 2B doing it or 2B determined? We're 2B doing it. He's gonna uh, he's gonna tell us about Marshawn Lynch beast mode, one of the most iconic plays, and uh, it, that's when he, he was comes there, back in. You know, he was he was there for. Are you talking about the beast mode play? The beast mode. Joyke was there. Joyke was. I know. Yeah, yeah. He, he was there. Yeah. So he should be. I, to talk I about love. It. I'm serious. Okay, so can I? This is called killing time in the business. Okay. Yes. One great time the, to urinate, by the way. One right? of the greatest things. <laughs> During your segment, you just decide, hey, I have to pee real quick, and you just leave. <laughs> One of the greatest things that, that I've done was um, I sat with a bunch of uh, scouts, pro scouts and junior scouts, and listened to them talk about what they were seeing because the little things that they pick up and the little things that they look for, and I'm going to give a shout-out to my pal, uh, Mike Vellucci, who was uh, the head coach uh, and general manager of the Whalers and was the assistant general manager with the Hurricanes, and he, now he works for the Pittsburgh Penguins as an assistant coach. Um, I learned so much from Mike Vellucci. It's, it's insane just listening to him and him having to ask questions. You know, I, I'm a guy that obviously I, I grew up with it and everything, but it's one thing – like it's the elementary level, and then you talk to guys like that, and Mr. Kermanis, shout out to Mr. Kermanis, but you, you talk to guys like that, and, and you get educated. And, and art, it's one of those things, it's almost like when you're art, right? You got to know when to shut up and just listen. Like art, when you go off on one of your rants, I love to just sit back. I'm not going to out-art you, so... What I do is I, I let you go. And so when you listen to these guys talk and just the things that they pick up, and I got a chance to listen to them all talk about, you know, future NHL star Tyler Sagan and the little nuances of his game and the things that you pick up. So I've always been fascinated by that because I never was, nor will I ever be, a world-class fill-in-the-blank player. Football player, hockey player, basketball, whatever the case may be. I like to study the game, but guys like that see the game differently. Mike Vellucci played in the NHL. Mike Vellucci coached at that level. You know, it worked in as general manager. So they see things in a different way. And the same thing can be said for Joyk. Uh, Joyk not only played at that level, but watched that level, had an up-close and personal look on many, many magical things. And they just look at the game differently. So... This is my long-winded way, and I'm almost done because I think Joyke is ready. But I can tell Joyke about Super Bowl history. Joyke can tell me, Darren McCarty trademark, the why. Okay, here's why this happened. Take a look at how it happened. I can tell you the dumb scores and everything. He can break it down for you. So I think we're ready to to be doing it. Did I say it right, Art? Okay, let's Art, to be doing it. This is Art. We're going to see if Art can do it. It's actually Kenny, yeah, so you better be yeah, nice. It's actually her, so blame her. Uh, I hope you're not a playing in slow motion. I All got right. you, Bestie. Do you right, want so, any slow motion for the start? No, no, so right now, if you look at the, the Seattle Seahawks, and I picked this play because this is probably one of my favorite runs um, in the NFL, uh, in the history of the NFL, one of my favorite runs. Um, and this is actually, they call it the, the beast mode. They call it the beast quake uh, when they actually picked up the crowd cheering on the Richter scale about three miles away. And so right here, the Seattle Seahawks are in a 22 personnel, two tight ends, two running backs. And if you look at the, the Saints, which happened to be my first game in New Orleans, the first playoff game, I was on the sideline, so I was able to see it in person, which, is, which was crazy. All right, playing the slow motion. And so if you look, you have the right guard pulling. Pause. And so if you look right here, there's no hole 
right here for the par part to the left you have one puller and if you look there's no hole there so what does the guard do play it slow motion he creates a hole he pushes the whole line forward beast mode follows slow it down and if you look right now he's broken five tackles already six and this is my guy tp just get off of me <laughs> get off of me you know what this was good hustle by dunbar that was good hustle but no close but no cigar and he caps it off with the nut grab you can't beat it beast mode if you can run it and just play it back straight through one time you will see exactly how beast mode this run is start it over from the beginning and let it play If you guys watch, this is poetry in motion. Poetry. Just off me. Get off of me. Stop it. He broke literally nine tackles on this one play. And this was nine right here. Get off of me. We in there. And it was when this play happened, I knew the game was over. But guess what? I stayed on the sideline. Appreciate it. Dude. What? That was awesome. No, I love, I, I'm, I'm serious. You're a yeah. guy. You played the game. Yeah. You played against those guys. And you you see it. Look at look at all the comments, right? Uh, Joy coming out of retirement would love to see it. Then there's, uh, where's your laser pointer? Steve said I'm, beast mode. And this is awesome, Co Coach Bell. And if Fish can fix this laptop, that would be great because you know this though? laptop just absolutely uh, fell we, apart. Fish, you week, can stay here. By next week, can we get that, Kennedy? What Producer? Can we get that by next week? Yeah, the laser pointer. Because I really, I almost went and bought one. I almost went and bought one, but. Steve, I know what a sports fan you are, and I mean that with respect, seriously. Now, you're, you're a big sports fan. I'm glad to see a guy like you say that, because that, that I love that stuff. Yeah. You look at it in a different way that we do, and you can point out little things like that. I, I love that shit. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Look. Little piece of Aren't you glad we to be doed it? To be doing it, I think it, I thought it could have been better, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Oh, let's ask. Let's ask the people. Did, did you guys enjoy? Yeah, did you just guys like that. Hold up, I'm talking to the people. Not you. Raise your hand. To the people, did you oh. guys enjoy it? Please comment down below if you if you enjoyed it. Fish, did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. What could have been better than? Okay, it's funny. Uh, that that was a question. You know, you know what? You know that what? was a question. What could have been better? Yeah. What, what, what did you want? Yeah, Do you what? want like the laser, the laser pointer? The laser pointer. Yeah. Jenna said you can get one from the dollar store. Yeah. I have a, square, a spare one if you want it. Oh, Look at all enough. the thumbs up right now. Like I'm yeah. looking at Facebook and, and like oh, there are a hundred thumbs up. You know when one person likes something, everybody you know it's, it throws out like a hundred likes. Can't you? You know what, Joy? Bravo. Like I'm serious. I'm, I'm giving you a compliment. Thank that's you. it. That's. I remember talking to you draft weekend. You were you were out getting ice cream with your daughter, and I said to you, I said, Joy, we should find some film of, in particular, the rookie running back, and look at you know what do you see out of this guy? What kind of back? People dig that stuff, man. Because mm -hmm. whether you want to admit it or not, you're looking at it differently than we do. You mm -hmm. just do. Yeah. You, you lived it. I'm never gonna know what it's like. To be running through a hole with a yeah. bunch of giant, angry Sawyers yeah. that want to do bad things to me. Bad attention. A lot yeah, of people I'm, bad not, I'm never going to know what that's like. And please, guard, pull, please. Oh, he pulled. There's a hole. I'm never going to know what. The, and Sawyer going, get back here, little man, chasing me down the field. Yeah.